I'm Learning Community Facilitator Natalie Sweet, and throughout the term, I will share videos to help you navigate your history classes, learn about the terminology being used, and think deeply about why history classes are a part of a solid liberal arts education. Today, we will talk about how to read like a historian. In your history class, you will likely find that you have a significant amount of material to read. At first, the material may seem overwhelming. After all, perhaps you read for pleasure and you know how long it takes you to read a book or article that you enjoy. Keep in mind, though, that when historians read, they do so with discipline. Historians do not read to memorize dates and names. Instead, they read to understand the author's argument or thesis and to understand why an event occurred, how it happened, and or what the significance of the event was in history. You may begin reading the text in your class and believe that you need to read and commit every word to memory. That is not so. Instead, train yourself to read with purpose. The following tips will help you become a better reader in your history class. Begin to read with a question in mind. If you are reading a text in your history class, you are likely doing so for a specific reason. You may be reading to answer a discussion board or short answer question, or reading to find answers to a research question that either you or your instructor have created. Reading with a question in mind will help focus your attention as you read. Read with the intent of immediately finding the author's thesis. When authors write, they write with purpose. There is a main idea or argument that they want to convey to the reader, and this is what is known as the thesis. The thesis statement is always backed up with evidence, which appears in the body of the text. The thesis also appears early within the text. Carefully reading the title and headings of a text can help you locate the thesis and its evidence faster. These are built into a paper to alert the reader of important points. Being able to identify both the thesis and the evidence will help you outline and better understand the material that you read. Keep an eye out for phrases and words like as a result, because of, affected, caused, demonstrates, as opposed to, and verses. These are signal words that indicate the author is taking a position on a topic. Skimming is allowed. In fact, it's encouraged. You may believe that you need to carefully read each word of an article or book. However, a quick skim of a text can help you quickly identify an author's argument and main pieces of evidence. Use a note card to keep track of ideas. It can be useful to write down the author's thesis and outline the key points of evidence on a note card. Once you finish reading, reflect on what you have written down. What is written on the note card isn't meant to be a tome of text. That's why the note card is suggested and not a sheet of paper. If you are writing a research or analysis paper, you may even take the time to construct a reference and citation on the back of the card to save you time when you begin to write. Taking the time to think about what the author has told you then prepares you to reread a second time. I know you may be thinking, but she told me that reading like a historian would save me time. And I continue to promise it will. The skimming that you did on your first read through has equipped you with the main idea and the points of evidence that the author will cover. Now, do another quick read through with the goal of reviewing the author's main points of evidence. If a point is confusing to you, you can spend more time focusing on that section. Repeating these tips with every article that you read will help you comprehend the material in your classes faster. It's a skill that will not only benefit you in your history class, but it will also benefit you in your future classes and career. If you have any questions after watching this presentation, visit the SNHU Connect Exploring History Learning Community. There, you can join in discussion with your fellow classmates and access other resources related to your history classes. Until then, I'm Learning Community Facilitator Natalie Sweet, and thank you for listening.